Welcome to another episode of I Can Do That. I'm your host, David Lyle, and this time we're building a plant stand. The cool thing about this is we put together in just a few hours, it's all one buy material from the big box store. It's select pine, so it's nice and free of knots and other defects. Uh, but we got one by twos for these two, these two frame pieces and one by twelves for the shelves and then some oak dowels. And that's pretty much all you need, plus the hinges, you need hinges. But anyhow, we're gonna get started by building these two uh, uprights and frames. Those are gonna be doweled together. Uh, so let's jump into that. To get started building the frame, I'm using these one by twos. Uh, these are eight foot boards and I'm basically gonna cut two of them in half so that I can have my four 48 inch sections. And then I just need to cut this board into 11 and 3 8 uh, sections. And I need four of those as well. So I'm gonna get chopping here. With all of these pieces cut, here's how we're gonna lay it out. Uh, the long ones are the stretchers that go up the top and then we have these cross pieces like so. And to join these together, I'm going to use dowels. I'm gonna use dowels intended for joinery uh, in these spots, and then we're gonna have dowels for all the shelving as well. And I kinda wanna explain the difference between the two. To explain this joint, uh, I've made a little mock-up here, and what I wanna show you is how this is doweled together. Dowels are not complicated, it's a hole with a peg in it. Uh, but these dowels are intended for hidden joinery like this when the dowel's not going to be exposed. It's not the most beautiful thing. Uh, but what's unique about this is that it has spirals cut into it, a chamfer on it. This allows the glue to go somewhere once you've put some in the hole, you've put some on the dowel, and you put that in there. And think about it, the air that's captured in there has nowhere to go. The glue has nowhere to go. With these two features of the spirals and the chamfer and the extra depth on the hole, the glue uh, can handle itself. It has somewhere to go. And so you can apply as much glue as you need without worrying about it locking up and not being able to push closed. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I see people using regular, uh, this is oak dowel that we're gonna use for some of the joinery. Um, but this does not have either of those features. And so if you try to cram this into a hole, um, you might experience a situation where the pieces don't draw together nicely. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how I cut these dowels now. This doweling jig is a self-centering type. Uh, these two guides center on this main drill guide. So these are metal bushings that are sized uh, for the drill bit that's required for this quarter inch dowel. And as you screw this together, these guides will come together. Um, Finding the distance from this edge to this hole and aligning them perfectly on each board is a little tricky. I don't like to measure as often as possible. So to get the reveal for, not reveal, uh, the distance from the top of this piece down to this piece is really just achieved by lining up the edge of this to the edge of this and then tightening down. And now I can drill my dowel holes. Uh, with the quarter inch bit that came with the dowels. Now that we have all the dowels drilled for the tops and the bottoms, we're gonna jump into these shelf pins. 3 8 dowel, this is an oak dowel, uh, will be pushed all the way through so that you'll actually see the exposed circle on the other side. Uh, but we're gonna use our doweling jig again. And so again, this is a self-centering jig. All I have to do is line up the center line in here with the line that I have here. Now this line is 14 and a half inches from the top of the um, stand. And so I just need to line these up like that tighten it down, and I'm going to use a scrap piece of wood here to drill into, and hopefully this will cut down on some of the blowout on the back side. So I've taken the bushing off of my bit because I really just need a through hole. I don't need it to stop at a particular depth, um, and I'm gonna knock all of these out. Be 
Before I get into gluing this up, I do want to say thanks to our sponsors of the I Can Do That program. Uh, Type Bond and Woodcraft are longtime sponsors, and we thank them for bringing this to you. Uh, we use all types of Type Bond in this shop. I'm using Type Bond 3 for this situation because it's the first one I grabbed. But you can get all of them at Woodcraft. Uh, along with your dowels and your doweling jigs and everything else required to build this project. So let's, uh, let's get this glued up. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to each dowel before I put it in its hole. And you really wanna make sure that you have even coverage over this whole thing. Um, because if you look at how dowels fail, over time, a lot of times it can be attributed to them not having enough glue on them. And that first one had a little too much. Go a little lighter on this one. And you can use a mallet. Make sure those are fully seated. And now I'm gonna put the side in. going to apply just a little bit of glue on each dowel and I'm kind of let, let it run down the dowel while I'm doing the others. I've given these a quick sanding and this is how it's going to look upside down. <laughs> I've installed the oak dowels into the holes that we made, uh, quickly sanded the whole thing, and now, uh, use your imagination a little bit, it's upside down, we're gonna open it up and add the hinges. So I'm gonna line these up perfectly, and I have these little one inch hinges that are gonna be mounted right at the crack. And I'm gonna use a screwdriver to install these so that I don't strip these out, they're tiny screws. This is pretty straightforward. You just wanna make sure that this barrel is aligned with your gap. Okay, we just got done cutting these shelves to length, four feet, three feet, two feet, keeping things simple. We sanded to 180 grit and we're about done. So this is a plant stand, that's how we've designed it. I would hit it with a coat of polyurethane to protect it from moisture and when you're watering the plants and that sort of thing. But other than that, it's done, enjoy. Thank you for joining us on this episode of I Can Do That. We'll see you next time.